This tiger was lying in the snow, unmoving, the snow had covered its body. What danger did the tiger encounter? Would it be found? Edward is a ranger. He lives alone in a remote village, which is in the middle of a dense forest. Although he has never received higher education, he is still a kind person. He never flinched from facing up to trouble, therefore, when he was asked to do the job as a ranger, although he had little experience, Edward took the job without hesitation. From his youth until now, Edward has spent almost his life in this mountain area, about every two days. Edward would go through the whole forest, recorded what he saw, and submitted it to the forest administrator. In a winter morning, Edward was on a routine patrol. An accidental experience changed his life. The day, all the plants in the forest were covered with snow. Stepping forward became a difficult task, and Edward was carrying a heavy load. He had to stop every few steps to catch his breath. In between one of Edward's gasps for breath, he faintly heard a voice coming from the distance. Edward stopped and tried to locate where the sound was coming from. But as he turned slightly to listen more closely, the wailing suddenly disappeared. Edward naturally thought he was hallucinating and hearing voices that weren't even there. But as he prepared to move forward, he heard the familiar voice again this time. Edward basically identified the location of the sound. It was coming from a bush ahead. He walked forward carefully, saw a small head sticking out of the snow. It was a tiger cub. He shook his head to shake the snowflakes off and looked at Edward with pitiful eyes, let out a little wail. Edward's heart was softened by the sight. He looked closely at the tiger cub and noticed that it was speckled with blood and its leg kept twitching. It tried hard to move its body but stayed in place. Looked like the tiger cub had a leg injury. Edward sprang into action. He picked up the tiger cub wrapped it in his clothes and hugged it to his chest, then he left the cold place at a fast pace. When he arrived home, Edward put the tiger cub next to the heater. He found some old clothes that he didn't wear and made a simple nest immediately afterwards. The tiger cub needed to be bandaged as soon as possible. Edward collected some herbs in the yard to stop the bleeding and applied them to the tiger cub's wound, finally wrapping it in gauze. After this series of work, it was late afternoon, it was dinner time in the snowy wilderness. The tiger cub must not be able to find food, Edward didn't know what to feed it. He suddenly remembered that the neighbor's little puppy liked milk. Edward thought to himself that this little tiger cub was also a cub, it should also be interested in milk. He didn't expect the tiger cub to stick out its tongue and lick the milk as soon as it saw it. A few minutes later, the basin was empty. Edward laughed with relief. Seemed like the little guy had a good appetite. Its health should be fine. And so, the tiger cub stayed at Edward's house. As time went on, it became stronger and stronger. Its wound healed and left a scar on its leg, but it did not affect it in any way. Edward realized that the tiger cub had almost become his family, so he gave it a lovely name, Gore. After that Gore often accompanied Edward on patrols, they often lost track of time. Traveling through the forest and playing, Edward always looked at Gore with love and affection, it was as mischievous as a big cat, however, despite the happy times they had, Edward sensed something was amiss, Gore was a fierce wild animal, once the thought had occurred, it lingered in Edward's mind. Edward wasn't afraid that it would harm him, but wild animals were not pets, keeping them in captivity would inhibit their natural instincts. Therefore, Edward had made one of the toughest decisions he was made in years. Edward took Gore to a wilderness deep in the forest. He hoped Gore could return to nature, but Gore followed Edward every inch of the way, as it had done for the past few months. Edward had no choice but to start shouting at the tiger. Gore had never seen its master so angry, it backed up and ran into the forest. Edward turned around and then burst into tears. He was sad to see Gore go. For a long time afterwards, Edward did not see any tigers in the forest. Edward wanted to see Gore so badly, but as long as it lived freely in nature, Edward was happy enough. A few years had passed. Edward was still working as a forest ranger. His longing for Gore made him fall more and more in love with the forest, and he slowly came to understand some of the mysteries of nature. It also made his job less tedious. However, nature always brings something unexpected, but not always good. 
One of Edward's biggest headaches was that the area had been plagued by forest fires. On a hot summer day, Edward was on patrol as usual, when he noticed wisps of smoke rising from the nearby hills. He knew something was wrong again, the flames soon spread. Edward ran towards the outside of the forest. But he hadn't been in the best of health for a few years, and soon couldn't run anymore. As the fire grew bigger and bigger, and was almost behind him, Edward's heart was filled with despair. Just then, a big tiger appeared in front of him, blocking his way. Edward was even more desperate. He closed his eyes as if accepting his fate, but Edward was shocked by the tiger's actions, as it bit into his clothes, instead of his flesh, and tried to carry him away in the flames, the tiger made sure it had Edward's clothes in its mouth, and then set off on a mad dash, to save him from the fire. They finally reached a safe place, the tiger put Edward on the ground, Edward still hadn't recovered from what had just happened, he was puzzled, unclear about the tiger's intentions, then, the tiger suddenly picked up Edward, and ran again, just as Edward was dazed and confused. They finally arrived at their final destination, it was Edward's doorstep, when the tiger saw that Edward was safe and sound, it rubbed its head against his body affectionately, Edward even thought he was dreaming, at that moment Edward saw the scar on the tiger's leg. It was gore. Although it had grown very tall, the look of affection and dependence in its eyes was the same as it had been years before. Edward shuddered and called out Gore's name and was met with a joy-filled grunt. Edward's heart was full of joy and touch. He was wrapped in happiness and wished that this moment would last forever. But after a while, the tiger returned to the forest where he understood it was his place to live. Edward should never forget Gore, his most loyal friend. He was also sure that Gore won't forget him. There is no story more memorable than Edward's experience, an experience that will stay with Edward for the rest of his life. Wild animals are not as cruel as we think. When its former benefactor was in danger, the tiger did everything in its power to save him. What a deep bond they had. Animals may have more innocent hearts, okay? That is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe this channel. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. See you next time.